I wanted to do a quick video about my gratitude jar and the idea of having a gratitude jar or a gratitude journal and generally the idea of being grateful for things. Um, every blog, video, channel, book that I've read that's all about sort of having a happy life, leading a positive life and um, having things that you want um, all refer to gratitude and um, the attitude of gratitude which is really important I think um, and it's 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 used in different ways in different books that I've read. Um, the books on the law of attraction um, think that you need to have gratitude in order to obtain more things, which is fine. Um, books that I've read, like The Art of Being Brilliant, um, is all about leading a positive, enjoyable, happy life that influences other people, which I think is, is a great book as well. Highly recommend it. Um, and that's very highly based on being grateful for things as well. And I think that aside from any of those sorts of benefits is actually, it's just a good thing to, to do to be grateful because it makes you happy. I always feel really happy. I feel really grateful um, that I have all the things that I'm, that I'm writing about. Um, so this is my system. I have a jar here of um, empty paper slips and they're just thin bits that I've cut out of a notebook. And I have a pen in there as well, so it's always there. And I keep this um, beside my bed. You don't have to keep it there, you can keep it wherever you want, but I tend to write these when I'm about to go to bed. Another important thing is not to make it something that, like a chore that you have to do every day. Um, if you want to set yourself the goal of, I'm going to try and write something every day, that, that's great. But don't let it become something where you think, oh, I really want to go to sleep, but I've got to, I've got to write my gratitudes. Because that that's not really the point. The whole point is to take a moment to think about something that you're grateful for um, and to be grateful of it and, and to be sort of aware um, of that thought process. So don't do it as a chore, do it as something that is spontaneous perhaps that comes to you. So I tend to do these when I'm, I'm thinking I'm particularly grateful for something um, when I go to bed and I write it down on one of the little slips of paper. Aha! and I put it into this jar, which is my gratitude jar. And I took this jar from the last place that I worked. Um, it was a beetroot jar, and I basically brought it home and washed it out. Um, they usually have stickers on the front, jars like this, so if you just soak it in some warm, soapy water, that comes right off. Um, and then I put, I'm, I'm covering this because it's got my name on it, but I put gratitude jar on the front in a shiny silver pen, and then, I write my gratitudes and I, I pop them in the jar. And the other nice thing about having a jar, like a, a see-through container like this, is that you can see them building up, which is quite nice because it kind of just like an instant visual reminder that you've got lots of things to be grateful for. Um, so I, I might read one of these out. I don't think I will read one of these out because it is private, which is why they're all sort of wrapped up like that and folded. But there's all sorts of things in here. There's, you know, I'm grateful for my fiance, I'm grateful for, being engaged for having a wedding to look forward to. Um, I'm grateful for the running water in my house that I've got hot water when I need it that I can shower with. Um, I'm grateful for my duvet which keeps me warm in the winter. I'm grateful for uh, my hair because it's curly and it's nice and it's thick. I'm grateful for my sight that I can see things. I'm grateful for my belongings, my clothes, my family, my friends, there's, there's everything on every level from little things, you know, like I'm grateful for the new makeup that I bought today to I'm grateful for, you know, my life. It can be anything on any scale. You don't have to make it big and grand and, and pious. It can be anything. So long as you're taking a minute to sit and think, I'm really grateful that I've got this in my life. Um, and yeah, I always come out of it feeling happy and feeling grateful and and lucky that I have all of these things and then of course you can always go back and read them as well which is nice so usually once I've written one and popped it in the jar I take a few more out and I remind myself of, of things and then you sort of get to get that feeling all over again so that's the gratitude jar other ways of doing it I've heard of are um, writing down so writing in like a journal um, so you could get yourself a really nice notebook or something like that and keep that beside your bed or wherever else you want to keep it, in your handbag or in the office even, although private, so maybe not. Um, and yeah, and just write something down every night um, or whenever you feel like it. But yeah, the, the key thing is just to 
take a minute when it's quiet, when you've got a minute to yourself and, and think about it that way. And then, yeah, make a, a log of it and go back to it. And it's okay to put the same thing in more than once as well. That's important. You can be grateful for something again and again and again. In fact, you should be. You should remain grateful. Um, so, yeah, whatever reason you do it for, I think this is a good thing to do. And uh, whether you want to do a jar like mine or do a journal or if you've got your own way of doing it, then please leave me a comment, let me know. Um, so I'm quite into this kind of thing, so I'd be interested to know if there's another way of doing it. But yeah, crash to jar. I am well grateful for my chocolate that I got for Christmas. You can tell I'm grateful for it because there's only four left.